looking for anything else. Most people really aren't educated well enough on, on behaviorism, on the systems that society promote. And it, it, unfortunately, it looks like it would take a crash before people look for something else. They have to become disillusioned with their elected leaders and be homeless before they look for other alternatives. And then it's usually what's in it for me. They look for the wrong reason. I can't. Uh, he has not had a long time. You got this done. What are all the different ways that we can help the Venus Project? So really, who would control the resources? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but during World War II, we formed a blockade. So Germany couldn't get to Sumatra to get rubber. So they invented synthetic rubber. The Germans were highly technical. I'm not upholding them. I say if your country has technicians at the high point, they're very easy to solve all scarcity problems. And there's nothing that man can't work on or overcome. 
like the Arab world didn't have the weapons we had, they they took over airplanes and hit it, uh, the uh, two towers, because there's no way you can secure yourself. They say at the airport, we x-ray your baggage and all that. I can design clothing that gives all poison gas, fabric. So there's no way you can really protect yourself. Because whatever you think of somebody else out there has a brain too. They can think around that. You know what I mean? The only security is one world sharing resources other than war continuously. Now that, if you don't understand what I'm saying, raise some other questions about it. But who would control those resources, Jack? Who would control those resources? Okay. When, when you have the change, the social change, I don't think you want to control those resources. So the resources be allocated first to hospitals where people are needy and they can't access those things. And it would be used in terms of the most appropriate thing. For example, if a ship is sinking today, it's women and children first. What I would do is, do you know anything about navigation? Yeah, get on the boat. Can you catch fish at sea? Yeah, get on the boat. Then women and children. So women and children is a kind of a hangover that's pleasing to people, but it doesn't solve the problem. It's the same thing with resources. Resources are allocated to the most needed places. And people are told that it's just a matter of three months or four months, they'll be able to make a substitute material. Bear with us. Now, if some people can't bear with us, they're helped. They're not going to pursue. He's afraid of the controls you know, first of all, people would have to agree that they want to go along with this direction, which is really no control, but the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. If they want this direction where we use all the resources in that way, then, then we lay out the plan of how to feed, house, clothe, and educate people. So, you know, if they go along with this, then there's a procedure that we carry out. Because that's the end goal. The control is the end goal. And there, there won't be people in position of power to control resources. They don't make policy. The scientists do not make policy. We have a direction that's laid out. And if they want to go along with this, the Venus Project, then, then that allocates it. And it's not even that. We take a, a survey of the Earth's resources, find out where we need different things. <coughs> If we find that there are many people diseased in a certain area, we, we have more hospitals there. Because that's the end goal, to take care of the needs of people. I'd like to give you an example. Two million people die every year in Africa of malaria. And they spray poisons in the water. And that spreads all over the place. That's the way we solve problems today. In the future, we have a light under this swamp with a color spectrum turning. And that attracts a malaria mosquito into the swamp. At night, they drown, and the fish eat them, and we get more food. <laughs> you understand? Okay. There are other ways of doing things other than spraying poison. When you got termites, you live in a wooden building, you get termites. We don't have any wooden buildings. They get burned. So we make composite materials that don't burn. Now, if you say, well, I like a wooden house, then it's your problem. <laughs> you get all these problems in terms of control when there's scarcity, and then you have an advantage group that con controls the, the resources. That's what we're trying to make a proposal to eliminate, to eliminate the problems that they have today. We're trying to design a society that, that, that surpasses the needs of control groups, of politicians, of aberrant behavior, and if you want that, then you work towards it. Got a question here? Okay. Um, I got a lot of questions from the last week's lecture in Copenhagen, where a lot of people